I just opened up was the new vertical stabilizer from Zenith that is all match hole drilled. It's really nice. It goes together a lot easier than the, uh, the other one that came with the kit. So right now we will go out to the freezing cold hanger. It's 35 degrees in there right now. And uh, we'll open it up and, and get it built. All right, so here's what's included with the kit. It looks like we have two ribs, a spar, and I'm not sure what the other two pieces are. Maybe the hinge brackets in there. And what I also really like is they have included a construction manual for this. Nice job, Zenith. So we'll open up all these parts and then uh, we'll take a look at the skin. All right, so the parts here are the spar doubler. We have the hinge bracket, the spar, and the two ribs. Now the work is to get all these edge finished, get the holes cleaned up, the bird, click it together, see if it all fits, and then scuff it, clean it, prime it, and rivet it together. So I just finished the absolute maddening task of removing all those paper labels and stickers and one of the things I wanted to show you that I noticed on these new parts is that Zenith is now if you can see rounding all these corners on my original parts these were just you know 90 degree corners and you have to take a file and round them down and now they're coming hot off the press ready to go I really like that here's how I quickly deburr these holes you can see a line of holes in here I'll just take the part on the table and Take my deburring tool and just head right down the line. Got to get both sides of the hole, the inside and the outside. And also keep in mind that after you do deburr the holes, all of these edges on every part have to be cleaned up. And I don't think there's any way you'll see on my, my iPhone camera how rough the edges are but these have to be filed smooth. There's a couple ways you can do that, which I'll show you next. So one of the things to keep in mind with airplane building is there's never only one correct way to do something. So the way that I like to edge finish these edges is with a file. And what I'll do is I'll just take the file and go over the edge like this a few times. And you notice when you do that, the, the top edge here is perfectly smooth, but on both sides, you have a little bit of a burr. That's where I'll come back with some 400 grit sandpaper and just kind of clean up the edges like this. Now once you do that, you just have an absolutely perfectly smooth edge. Now the other way you can do it, which is probably actually a little bit easier, is to use a scotch Brite wheel like this here. You can just turn this on and, you know, run it up and down your edges. I just prefer to do it with the file. That's how I've been doing it forever with the, uh, the Vans RV and now with the Zenith. I just get a real nice smooth finish like that. So that is how I prefer to do it. All of my pieces are deburred. The edges are finished. And I've just clicoed the assembly together. Now for this new matched hole vertical stab, Zenith has the rudder hinge, which is also match drilled. Uh, they didn't supply me with that one on this one, which is perfectly fine because I have my old hinge here. And even if it was match drilled, since my rudder is already built and the hinge is riveted on the rudder, I'm not sure yet exactly where this hinge needs to go on here. Um, so this actually, this works out just perfectly fine, not having a matched hole hinge. Uh, probably once I get the skin on here, I will go get the rudder that's already built and kind of match it up and see exactly where this hinge needs to be. So that's the skeleton, and I'll show you the skin next. And this is the skin. Before I open it up, I just thought I'd show you how it arrives in the box. 
They uh, looks like they do a real nice job of packing this up to protect it from scratches. So it looks real nice. So I'll go ahead and open it up and then we'll take a look. All right, here it is. Here's the skin. Now to my surprise, Zenith has already cut out the bottom, which is really nice. I think these Zenith kits are getting nicer and nicer. My original skin that came with my kit didn't have any of this cut out at the bottom. They just kind of had a, a, a pen mark where you're supposed to cut, but this is already cut. It might need final trimmed once it's fit to the airplane, but it looks real nice. As you can see, all the holes are drilled. The old uh, skins don't have any holes drilled in them, so this is real nice. It should just clico right together. Well, here we go. This only took about five minutes to put together. And I will tell you, with this new matched hole vertical stabilizer, every single hole on here lined up absolutely perfectly. This thing just went together as quick as can be. Really, really nice. I like how this is already cut out at the bottom. I don't have to do that. So all these pieces are ready to go now. Before I Clico stuff together, I always like to clean up the holes and edge burr and all that stuff. So this thing's done. I just need to take it apart and scuff it up, prime it, and rivet it together. Well, I know that's the worst music in the world, but it was just a free song I found on YouTube to add to a video. I moved my airplane into the garage to paint the interior, and now that that's done, I'm moving it back into the hangar, and I'm putting it backwards this time because the engine should be here soon, and I wanted it uh, the front of the airplane more open to mount the engine. Well, here it is installed on the airplane. I did have to do some final trimming of the bottom on both sides. And I also had to trim this opening where the elevator moves, again on both sides. Now here's an area where I need to refer to Zenith, because as you can see, up at the top here, the spar seems to be wider than the fuselage. Down here at the bottom, it's absolutely perfect. And then as you travel up the spar, the spar gets wider than the fuselage, as you can see. So this aluminum piece here, once it's riveted on, will have kind of that bend to it. So I am not sure if that's normal or acceptable. And I'm gonna end the video here. When I do get some feedback from Zenith, I will post it on the zenithowner.com forum where you will find this video.